Hello, truth seekers. I have to laugh because my husband, when he's around, says that. Like, all, hello, truth seekers. So I don't know if that is a catchy little tune to you, but I kind of giggle when he walks around and says that. It's kind of cute. Because we are truth seekers. We're constantly looking for the truth and we're asking God to help lead us to it so that our lives are not only being directed down that narrow path, but that the world around us is being seen for what the truth is. Lots of misinformation out there. Lots of stuff that we have to discern. And if you don't have that close relationship with God, if you don't know his voice in your life, how will you know the truth? Jesus, the truth, the way, and the life. He will tell you not only the truth about life and love with him and walking with him, but he's also going to tell you the truth about what's going on in the world. Are you being lied to or not? Should you trust this information or not? I just feel like so many people are swirling around and they are listening from like the spiritual side to all of these visionaries and all of these people and wondering, okay, well, what they say must be true, what they say must be true, but yet they don't have their own deep relationship with the Lord. They don't know God's voice in their life. That is why <laughs> I am doing what I'm doing, because I'm all about helping you deepen your relationship with God and the beautiful Catholic faith, understanding the faith and how to leverage the faith in our walk, those beautiful sacramental graces that are there just waiting for you. But first, really, we need to have a relationship with God. And what does that mean? That means walking with him, grabbing his hand, talking to him all day. It doesn't mean that you get up in the morning and you pray and then you get up or you go to bed at night and you pray. But the whole day, you don't think about God. You don't call him into your daily activities. You don't ask him to put the words in your mouth. You don't ask him to show himself through the people, nature, TV, media, whatever you're reading and listening to. God's everywhere. And if we're not in tune to his voice, we are definitely not going to know his will in our life. And how can he direct us to the truth? So it's a walk that we must do every day with God all day, all day. Sorry, I keep moving this thing around, but I keep going into my messy bed over here. <laughs> I figured, hey, I'll have you go look over there instead if you're looking behind me. I'm like one of those people where I just look behind the person on the screen sometimes like, oh, what do they, what do they got in their house? Anyway, well, hey, you want to look at it? There's my bed, always unmade. There's my bathroom. That's it. Okay, back to the point at hand. You must walk with God. This is not a part-time gig. This is not, I'll check in with you now. I'm going to go do what I want to do all day long, and then I'll check in with you at night. Seriously, now is the time to take your faith seriously. We're in a flippin' battle. Yes, flippin' battle. I said it. I've given up swearing but I need to have an extra punch here because I think that some people are just not taking their life seriously, thinking about it by putting purpose and meaning behind it, inviting Jesus into every task of every day. And it changes the task. It changes the task. I always use this example, so I'll try to use something else. Okay. I don't really like cleaning the house. The worst parts of the house are the toilets, Laundry, the kitchen, <laughs> that's like the whole house. But I hate it. I hate it. So when I am going to do it, no matter what, I am asking God to help me vacuum. And then the minute I ask him to help me vacuum, all of a sudden I am happy that I have a floor and a carpet to vacuum. And then I have a vacuum. And then I have electricity to plug the vacuum in. And then when I'm done, I have a garbage can and a garbage company that comes to pick up my garbage my dust and dirt from my house and take it away. <laughs> Every time you ask Jesus in, it changes the task. It changes what you are doing. Invite him into a meeting. You'll start looking at people and loving them different. That guy who always talks too long and always goes over his time for his presentation, all of a sudden you're going to like, oh, he's a child of God. 
Your heart will be softened if you talk and walk with God every single day. And in the Mass, we are told every time, it is truly right and just, always and everywhere, Lord, to give you thanks. So you don't have to just talk to him and invite him in. Thank him. The other day I was on a faith coaching call. I turned on the water faucet and I stopped and I said, thank you, God. And I told the person on the call, I'm like, okay, wait, I just got to call out to God because I had to turn on the water for a second. And she was like, right, aren't we so blessed? So how often do you thank him? Please, please take your faith walk seriously because one day you're going to have to account for how you've lived. And if you are not bringing God into your life, you cannot be that disciple. You cannot evangelize. You cannot transform like God will transform you. You might have some semi-permanent stuff, but everything is in God's control. Take your life seriously because how you live it here matters. Okay, walk with God. Do it. I don't care if you have to like set your alarm for every hour on the hour just to say thank you. But what I really want you to do is just live with him. Live with him. Walk with him. Live in the spirit. Okay, I keep repeating myself, but inviting him in is a practical way that you can truly see how different life is when you walk it with God. Don't forget to thank him for the beautiful blessings throughout the day when you're in the grocery store say thank you god look at all this food thank you lord you'll see it'll slowly but surely snowball and before you know it you're talking to god all day which is what it's all about i love you all have a blessed and inspired day and don't forget to subscribe and follow my uh, what is it? Small acts of love for 40 days. And I want you to know that this isn't one more thing you have to put on your list. If you don't do this act this day, you failed. It's just taken 40 days during a time of a liturgical season, right? And trying to leverage the grace that comes with this season and bring the love of God to everyone, which is really what it's honestly all about. I know it's about sacrifice and fasting, but it's got to be for the love of God, not just because it's a contest or I, I need to do it. We've got to remember to base it in love of God, love of ourselves and love of neighbor. That is the meaning of life. So simple. Okay, everyone. I love you all and so does God. Have a blessed and inspired day.